what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fix black screen with vulcan adder in your shared ps4 emulator as you can see this is my shared ps4 emulator and whenever i try to open sonic mania game in my shared ps4 i'm facing the error vulcan adder with black screen you can see now i close it i try again and open and play the game so you can see black screen with Vulcan error let's get started guys uh, I have uh, different solutions and uh, uh, do not skip any part of this video so first of all make sure you have a good GPU and good CPU for, uh, to run PS4 emulator in your PC so first of all i show you my gpu device already installed in my pc so you can see this is my nvidia control panel so i have nvidia gpu go to display adapter and scroll down and go to advanced display settings and go to display adapter properties and you can see this is my uh, gpu device dedicated video memory uh, two gigabytes you can see so i have two gp graphics card g4750 and i show you my cpu go to search bar and type here task manager and task manager and go to performance so this is my cpu uh, so you can see i have four core cpu guys i have a xeon cpu you can see with a four core now we need to check our uh, cpu avx or avx2 supported or not so so this is my file cpu z and i open it and wait for some time you can see in the Xeon and instruction, there's no AVX and AVX2 spotted CPU. So guys, I don't have uh, AVX2 spotted CPU uh, in my Intel Xeon. Now I show you my another new PC with my same GPU device, same graphics card. Guys, this is my new uh, PC and i show you my uh, same device uh, gpu device already installed so go to display settings and scroll down go to advanced display settings and display adapter so you can see uh, same device dedicated memory 2 gb and uh, i show you my cpu task manager Go to task manager and performance so you can see in the R core i5 cpu and cores 4 now i try to uh, open my ps4 uh, but first i show you my uh, avx2 a uh, sported cpu and uh, so i extract it and and i open it so you can see instruction so intel core i5 and instruction abx and abx2 is available and uh, now i try to open my ps4 and i play the game so you can see it's working you can see guys it's working This problem is not related to your GPU device, it's related to your CPU. So make sure your CPU uh, AVX and AVX2 supported. And if you have already AVX2 supported CPU, then you need to uh, change some settings from your shared PS4. So open your shared PS4 and go to settings, uh, click here, go to graphics tab 
and you need to select your uh, more powerful GPU if you have multiple GPU devices. So select from here your GPU device and click on apply and save and uh, make sure your uh, drivers for your GPU device already up to date. So go to search bar on your Windows and type your device manager. Go to device manager control panel and display adapter properties and drivers so you can see driver date if you have older version then please update it first it's very important thing and if you're still facing a black screen uh, in your shared ps4 then make sure your games are workable in shared ps4 because uh, uh, some games are workable in shared ps4 so you can check compatibility uh, in your uh, uh, for your games in your shared PS4 because uh, some games uh, don't work in shared PS4 and you can update your shared PS4 if you're still facing black screen. So I hope you liked the video and if you like then please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.